Welcome to this video on using the TI-83 or 84 graphing calculator to find the minimum or maximum value of a function. What I want to do is I want to find the minimum value for the function y equals x squared minus x minus 42. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is to graph this function. So remember the steps to graphing, we're first going to press y equals and then we're going to put our function in in our y1. So let's go ahead and press clear to clear out our old function. We're going to use this x button here to for x. So we're going to x squared minus x minus 42. So to decide on a window, my options are I could use one of my presets, I could set my window manually, or I could have the calculator build a window for me. Let's remind ourselves what this function basically looks like. So I know that because this is a quadratic, it's going to be a u-shaped function. And since the coefficient of my x squared is positive, I also know that it's basically going to have this shape here. So it's going to be u-shaped, and it's going to open up. So my minimum is going to be way down here. The other thing I can tell from this graph is that my y-intercept, that's where my x value is 0, is going to be negative 42. Let's try using one of our presets and see if we can get a window that works. So if we press zoom and then standard, choose option 6, we can see part of our parabola, but I can't see way down here where my minimum is. Let's see if we can alter the, this preset window to uh, make it work for us. So I need to see a lower y value. So if I press window, I need to alter this y min. So let's see, I know that it's going to be at least negative 42. So let's go down to say negative 60. I could find this out. Um, algebraically by, by finding the y-coordinate of the vertex, but without doing that, um, I, I can't know where, where, where it's going to be, so we're just going to try guess and, and check here. So let's press graph. Okay, so I can see my parabola pretty well. One thing that I'm noticing here is on my y-axis, it's really thick here, that means that I, I don't have any space between my tick marks. So let's go back to our window. And notice I'm going from negative 60 up to 10 with a y scale of 1. So let's see, let, let's go up a little higher, maybe up to 20. And let's make our y scale either 5 or 10. Let, let's try 5. Okay, so we, we can see our parabola here pretty well. And what I want to do is I want to find this spot down here where our parabola reaches its minimum value. The way we're going to do this is we're going to use the calc menu to have our calculator find that spot for us. So if we press second and then trace, that gets us into our calc menu. And we have lots of options here and we want to find the minimum value, so we're going to choose option 3. Finding a maximum value is going to work the same way as finding a minimum value. Okay, now once we choose that, our calculator is going to ask us a series of questions. So the first thing it asks us is left bound. So what it wants us to do is tell us where approximately our, our minimum is. So I want to take my spider here and I want to move so that I am definitely to the left of where that minimum is. So if I move this way, okay, I know that I'm definitely to the left here. Once I'm to the left, I'm going to press enter. Okay, now it's going to ask, it asks me a, a different question. Also notice up here a little arrow appeared. So this is the left um, side of my interval that I'm telling it. So it asked me for a right bound. So I'm going to move my cursor, my spider, so that I'm to the right 
of my minimum. Okay, so I'm definitely to the right over here. And then I press enter again. And then it asks me for a guess. So I could move to where the guess is, where I think it, a, a good guess is, or I could just press enter. So press enter. And I can, I'm done now. It tells me that my minimum is at x equals 0 0.5000. So your number may come up as something slightly different than this. We're going to round this to 0.5. So this little 47 way out here is just the calculator's rounding error. So again, your number might be slightly different. In fact, it might even have been x equals 0.49999999. So you're going to need to round to 0.5. So if we were trying to find a maximum value of our function, we would do a very similar process, but instead of choosing minimum, we would choose maximum. Again, though, you have to answer that series of three questions. That's it for this video. Hope it was helpful.